Hey guys. <sighs> I just had to re-record this because my little brother walked up in here with, uh, with underwear and his pants like slack and I was like, what the? Anyway, so if you all watched my Draw My Life video I posted last week, you would know that I lived in a place called Covington before I lived where I live right now. And I said I would tell you all about my first crush, but I'm going to tell you a first crush related story and not really about my first crush. Uh, if you read the title, you know what I'm going to be telling you. I'm going to be telling you about the time I was first curved. And it was by my first crush. So it was super disappointing. Okay, so this guy moved here. And um, he was like, I didn't like anyone in my school before he moved here. And he was like short and he was like black and he wore like a hoodie all the time. And his dad rode a motorcycle. Sometimes he would be on the motorcycle. And he just like seemed super cool. And, um, so he would, like, he would, like, we would walk home all the time, and me and my sister, we made friends with him, he, cause he's a pretty cool guy, so, like, we were friends, like, at school and on the bus and, like, you know, at home now, like, we're just, like, neighborhood friends and stuff, so we made friends and stuff, so, um, I started to like him cause he was pretty cool, so I was like, oh my gosh, what is this, and, like, back then, my thug levels were up here, and now they're, like, down here. But, like, back then, I wasn't scared about nobody, so I wasn't scared of him or anything. I wasn't I wasn't scared of him saying no or anything. So, um, like, the moment I realized I liked him, the next day, I was like, hey, you, me, you want a date or something? Like, you want to be my boyfriend? And he was like, yes. Now you're probably confused, because it's supposed to be about me curving, him curving me, but, like, he said yes, so I was like, yes, finally, I got one in the bag, like, yes, forever. And then, like, you know when you're a kid, like, you, like, over plan everything, like, as soon as something happens, like, I was really planning our futures together, like, in my little five-year-old or six-year-old mind, like, we were, like, in fifth, fourth grade, sixth, not sixth grade, fifth grade at most, I'm not really sure which one. But, yeah, so, like, I'm pretty young, and I was already planning our futures. I was so happy. Like, and this isn't the first day, and um, I'm telling my sister, and, like, I'm like, but he's one of those guys who said, I want to keep it a secret, though, just for a little bit. I was like, sure, I mean, like, whatever you're feeling. I didn't think much of it. So, um, I just told my sister only, and she's like, oh, cool. I'll ask him tomorrow just to make sure, you know, everything's all right. I was like. All right, go ahead. He said yes. Like, you know, it's fine. So, um, the next day, the next day, just the next day. It hasn't been a long time. Was it the weekend over? Literally the next day. It was like Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Like the next day. We come to school, and he has a girlfriend. And he didn't have a girlfriend before because we were friends. I knew him. Like, I would know known if he had a girlfriend before. It wasn't like he moved here with a girlfriend already. No. He had made a girlfriend after he had made me. So, like, at recess, he was like, oh, yeah, now I'm dating Miranda or whatever her name was. I think it was Miranda. And this Miranda girl, like, nobody even talked to her. I was like, what makes her so special? What? And, and, um, she was short... White hair, no, white, brown hair. She was cute, I mean, but, but like, but, like, she, he wasn't, like, he didn't talk to her. Like, me and him and my sister and some other people played soccer all the time during recess. I'm like, bro, I was like, when did you even have time to talk to Miranda? Like, when did you guys meet? She doesn't live in our neighborhood, so when did you meet? She was not on our bus, so how did you meet? Like, how did you find her? I was, like, kind of, like, a little bit angry. I was like, where did she come from? Like, I knew she went to our school, but, like, So yeah, so the next day, he's dating Miranda, and she's like, hi, and I was like, and I'm reading, he's like, oh yeah, I don't really want to date you anymore, and I was like, like we should just be friends, you know, because I want to ruin our friendship and stuff, and that is so wrong, and I don't know if you guys consider that curving, but I do, because it kind of just didn't tell me, it kind of just kind of like pushed me over, and it's kind of like, yeah, let's be, let's just be pals, you know, let's, let's be pals. All right, all right, okay, okay, and like I said, my thug levels were pretty high back then, so, like, I was angry for a little bit, but then I would, like, my mind turned to revenge, but I was like, how am I gonna get him? Not Miranda, Miranda didn't do nothing. She seems like a dumb dumb. so I was like, I'll leave her, she's okay. 
let me get this other person. Like, you know? So I was like, hmm, all right, all right. And literally nothing happened after that. I just got a little angry. And, um, yeah, I mean, I was so shocked. How could, how could you do that to me? Like, I was so betrayed. I just didn't know what to do. And then, and the worst part was, he still was acting like my pal. Like, he was like, hey, 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 you want to go play soccer at recess? You want to do this? Oh, you want to go, like, to the Foss Market and, like, steal some stuff after school? Like, you know, he was just, like, acting all chum chummy with me. And I was like, but you, you, you did me dirty, bro. Like, I was like, what the? So, yeah. And after we moved, like, we moved, like, a year after that. If you guys watch my thing, you would know that's when we moved here. So, yeah. So then we moved here, and we didn't stay in touch because back then, you know, kids, we, like, just got phones, and, like, other people didn't have phones. And I'm pretty sure he moved before we did. We didn't pay for him to go to camp. Like, I was so betrayed by him. Okay. But, like, we were so close. But, like, yeah, so... Um, I found him on Instagram a couple years back. His name was J, like, not like J, like, there was more letters in the thing. And it's not like J-A-Y, like, there's more letters. But I'm just not going to say his name on here because I'm sure he doesn't want to be outed or anything. But, like, I found him, um, like, when I was 8th grade-ish, or maybe ninth grade, first year of high school. And I found his Instagram, and he was posting all these, like, muscle pics, and, like, there wasn't any muscle there, so, like... I commented on his picture. I didn't say like anything offensive or anything. I was just like, I was just like, hey, remember me from middle school when we were friends? And then um, I didn't say anything offensive, but like he blocked me right away. He's like, I'm not friends with you. I don't know you. Nothing. I was like, why did you block me? Like, not like I said, you were skinny. I could have said you were skinny. Like, what muscles do you have? But. I'm out. What do you do? Don't! I'm making Cause. Yo, yo, yo. Oh. Literally everybody in this house knows that right now, this second, I am making a video. But every two minutes, somebody busts through that door. So I have to... You know what? I told y'all the story. You know what happened? Maybe if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling, feeling some type of way, I'll, I'll, I'll tag this guy or something. You know, add him to my video on a post on Instagram or something. So go check it out, see if I, if I, um, am I allowed to tag someone who, who, who's not my friend on Instagram? We'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe up there, or there, somewhere. Click on my face. There should be a subscription box right here on my face. Click right there. Check out my videos right there. It's right there. And, um, subscribe, notification squad, guys. Get on this. Share my videos all over the place. And, you know, just help me. Help me get clout, is the kids are saying right now. What does that even mean? So, if you know what that means, type that down there so, you know, I would know what that means. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. See you on Thursday. Bye.